Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, I have a new book today called Myths and Monsters. This is from M. Patrick Dunnigan, uh, written and illustrated by him. And it's a really, really nice book. Um, let me flip to the back. It is 30 Art Nouveau and Art Deco inspired renderings of gods, goddesses, monsters, and heroes. Um, it is really fantastic. I love Art Nouveau. I love Art Deco. And then the myths and the monsters is just a bonus. So let's start flipping here. It is... The um, paper quality is definitely thicker than um, copy paper. Right here he talks about his reasoning for adding the different uh, monsters and characters um, and that he is hoping that more volumes are coming out and I believe volume 2 is already out um, and I will post a link to these books down at the bottom and he also asked here if you enjoy the book please write him at mpatrickdunnigan.com and let him know if there are any other characters you'd like to see in future editions and you can share pictures too. Um, I hope, hope, hope I don't botch up all of these names because, you know, they are single-sided, um, non-perforated, and let's start. He t tells a little bit about each one, which is really great. I love the history behind all of these. So this one is Aphrodite Ven slash Venus. I love this. I absolutely love the style. I have never seen the myth and mythology characters like this in this Art Nouveau style like this. They're just beautiful. Artemis slash Diana and it tells you all about what it means like that's the hunt, the moon, nature, and birth, Greek, Roman, and possibly more and then the story about it and then the picture. Let me go up a little bit more. Okay. Blue Corn Maiden And there's a lot of faces in here, and you know how I love to color faces. Oh, wait. Bra um, is this Bragi or Bragi? Bra God, I'm terrible at this. This is Norse. Bragi. Bragi. I should have got my daughter in here. She knows all of them. I love him. He is gorgeous. It's going to be fun to color. Cybele. Or Sybil. Not sure. I love the flirtily. I love anything flirtily with the lion. Cyclops. I love the Cyclops. I almost colored him first and then I changed my mind. Um, Demeter? Isn't she beautiful? I love it. I love the font that he used. I just love everything about it. Incarnations, also known as the Morai, the Fates, or the Three Sisters. I've heard of the Three Sisters, the Fates. They're beautiful. Frigga, I think that's how you say it. Norse, Old German, Old English, and possibly others. She's so beautiful I'm gonna get my fine liners in here to do all the little details it's gonna look so pretty harmonia Hera Hera is beautiful I love how he does the different outlines and things just stunning. Horus. Icarus. I love it. Isis. She's beautiful. Egyptian. Callie. I love it. I've seen this one before with the arms and the skull. The Kraken. 
love this. Really nice. And they got the little monster down here. Um, Masha. Marduk. He looks like he's in deep thought. Love his clothes. The Minotaur. The Minotaur is awesome. He is so awesome. Oh, this is going to be so nice colored. These are really nice. I mean, you could frame these. They're very easy to take out. And you could um, uh, frame them easily. And since they're single-sided, you could use your um, markers. Anything. Nemesis. This is the one I did. I just thought she was beautiful and I wanted to color her. I did a lot of um, um, gel pens and I did a lot. I mostly used my Prismas and gel pens and then I went over the dress in Jelly Roll Stardust. The um, the silver clear, clear type one. And all the rest of the gold was the bit Blick, um, sorry, not Blick, the flare glitter gels. I love these. These are like my favorite. Nike or Nike. I love how the vines go up the sword like that. Oko. Look at him amazing Proteus Proteus is an awesome look at him you can see his face I just I'm in love with the style the Art Nouveau is so just amazing love it so excited for this book um Psyche or Psyche not sure She is so beautiful. She's one of my favorites. I love her wings and the flower and her dress, how it's draping. And it, it's just gorgeous. Everything about it is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to say PETA for this. Isn't he awesome? Oh, I didn't notice this right here. Looks like a mummy. Not sure. Love it. I'm not even going to try this one. Kenyon. Okay, I lied. Kenyon. Kwanyan. <laughs> I love her. I already know what colors I'm going to do. Oh, she's holding lotus flowers. Beautiful. The spider grandmother. Native American. The background, thinking of the background of this one already. Um, Thanatos. This is one of my male favorites. I just love the wings and the hair. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Thesis. Look at him. Zeus. Zeus slash Jupiter. Says he's a proud nerd with profound opinions about Art Nouveau, Art Deco, Mythology, Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, and yes, the West Wing. Rumor has it the Sorting Hat put him in Hufflepuff. He's not sure what to think about that. That is so awesome. And then he's got some resources here, people he'd like to thank. And that's it. We've got some test slash water pages here in the back. And here's what the back looks like. Just a couple of the different pictures is a list of all 
of the characters in here. The cover is really, really that soft feeling. I don't know what it is, but I really like them. This is, again, like I said, volume one. Here's what the spine looks like. It is really nice. Nice, heavy-duty, very good quality book. That's what I like about it. I really like it. I am very excited to keep coloring in this book. So, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please um, go check it out. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.